So a gastroscopy is a uh, an endoscopy test or a camera test of the upper GI tract. So it involves passing a thin, flexible tube through the mouth um, or the nose into the food pipe, into the stomach and into the first part of the small bowel, an area called the duodenum. So we examine all of these areas. We're able to take photos, to be able to detect any problems, any pathology, such as ulcers or inflammation. And we can also take biopsies, which are little tissue samples measuring about a millimeter in size. We can then send this off to the lab and we can analyze it. Um, but that's that's the essential, that's the gastroscopy procedure. So an endoscopy test refers to a camera test of any orifice, so any part of the body. A gastroscopy is specifically an endoscopy test of the upper GI tract. So in that test, we pass the camera through the mouth and we examine the food pipe, the esophagus, the stomach, and also the first part of the small bowel. So there are a number of things that we look for when we do a gastroscopy. The main thing is to check for any inflammation or any anatomical abnormality, such as a hiatus hernia. Um, we also check for things like ulceration, um, and we can also take biopsies for for things such as Helicobacter pylori infection. And we can do other tests such as checking for CDAP disease and checking for peptic ulceration. So preparing for a gastroscopy is very easy. Um, the test is usually performed in the morning and we simply ask that you fast overnight so you can have an evening meal as normal the day before. On the morning of the procedure, you would skip breakfast. You can have a couple of sips of water to keep your mouth moist. And then you turn up for the procedure and then we get you ready and then we perform the procedure. Following that, a short about approximately one hour after that, you'll be able to eat and drink as normal. So with gastroscopy, we can do it with or without sedation. And we would generally prefer to use sedation because patients get a more comfortable experience and we get a better quality of examination. Um, you're not completely put to sleep. We use something called conscious sedation. So we usually give you two drugs. One is a sedative and one is a mild painkiller. And the combination of those drugs makes you feel very comfortable and very relaxed during the procedure. So the procedure itself takes about five minutes um, for a full examination. And then following that, you'd be taken to recovery or to your own cubicle where you'd be allowed time to recover and, and gradually wake up. Um, following that, you'd then be given some foods and approximately one to two hours after the procedure, you'll be able to leave hospital.